Hi guys, by now you must have seen the official news released by Cambridge Examination for the May-June 2025 exam series uh, with regard to the paper leaks and it's, it's just the same lollipop that Cambridge gave last year which is that this time what they're doing is they're saying that technically speaking the entire paper was never leaked never ever ever only a question or two from each component or from each paper was leaked and what they're doing to mitigate that risk is that they are basically telling everybody uh, that we've excluded those questions or we've given full marks in those questions uh, to every student so that it's a le level playing field and with the help of the threshold we will be able to fairly and reliably give the um, give the grade to students now first of all this statement in itself that only a question or two was leaked and not the entire paper if you think logically or from the perspective of professional skepticism that is highly 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 unlikely that only a question was leaked and not the entire paper right um, well I don't think this is possible even that if somebody were to leak a paper he would just leak one question which would not probably even change your grade if you get that question wrong just a grade or you know just a grade would be different because of that question if you, you if you would have gotten that question wrong but no 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 they would still just go f and pay these these cheaters who cheated on these exams the supervisors whoever the, the institutes whoever were involved in this just leaked one one question not not a component not the entire paper just one question to help them achieve a very very good grade so to mitigate that we are basically going to disregard that question that is logically Cambridge you guys are an institution that has been around for hundreds of years now and you guys have been operating in Pakistan since Pakistan was you know and it, you know since since Pakistan came into being you guys were operating in Pakistan and this is the lollipop that you give to students and this is the lollipop that you give to parents and to you know students who've put in the hard work and you tell students thank you for a secure examination towards the end of your release you're telling students thank you very much for conducting for helping us conduct a secure examination you guys can read it on their page I was astounded by the level of you know the level of word playing that they have done in that release they're saying we're taking extreme actions what's the act and they mentioned disqualification but just like last year last year they also said things like you know we will take action and this and that nothing happened realistically speaking I haven't seen a single school being discredited or uh, you know a single teacher or supervisor or institution who was you know punished or penalized due to this um, paper leaks right so it's the same lollipop as last year now they're also saying that students will not be put at a disadvantage because uh, you know um, because what's what's effectively happening is that we are we are working out something that that is going to be always in the favor of students but what you know what is the reliability of this statement that you will not put a student at a disadvantage this is you this is what you are saying effectively that I am not gonna put the student as at a disadvantage think from the perspective of student it's not just the it's not just the great disadvantage that you've already put student through it's the mental pressure that that student faced because of that one exam leak which probably has affected his um, his entire uh, performance in the upcoming components so where are you accounting for that provision where are you accounting for this uh, for this fact that because of one component leak a student may have suffered through uh, you know me through through mental stress through depression which would have you know uh, which would have deter deteriorated his or her performance in the actual exam how are you accounting for that piece you're not and you can't the only thing you could do is apologize to students and to teachers and to actually take action to actually take action and this is a request to all teachers regardless of whether you are subject teachers or whether you are not subject teachers speak up for students if your institutions speak up for students it's high time you guys stand by the future of your country you know you guys are all in line when it comes to collecting money from students 
be it cambridge you get one day late submission in the exam fee you get penalized you guys are the first to penalize on you know late submission of fee the schools the institutions cambridge in its, you know cambridge itself but when it comes to solving actual issues then you guys are saying we will look into it look into it it's bs it's propaganda it's word play and you know students have been put at a disadvantage because you are not accounting for the level of stress and tension and pressure that they would have you know that would have resulted in poor performance in the upcoming components how are you accounting for that and if you're saying oh all the students throughout the world went through that no only students where the paper was leaked went through that you know so you're not accounting for that so let's be real i am calling upon all students all teachers to either tell gamerage ki yaar enough is enough this it's high time to do to actually do something instead of just word play and instead of just saying oh ho oh, we are taking strict action discreditation discreditation and even the context in itself is so vague that only one one the facts are so you know i think they they're skewed at this point that only one question was leaked not the entire paper that's just a make sense any logical person knows it doesn't make sense so it's high time you do something and if you don't if you if you if this is all a word play like last year i am requesting institutions to switch from this board i couldn't care less my my job and all the job of all teachers should be to teach students wholeheartedly as a passion as a hobby and to create future scientists and it is not necessary that only if you follow the cambridge board you are going to become a future so the only reason we opt for cambridge is because of the quote and quote secure examinations that they are offering the fair play that they are offering what's the difference between matriculation in pakistan or cambridge examination why are we paying so much more money because of that and um i'm calling about everybody telling them to maybe switch boards it's high time to probably go for ps in edexcel maybe you know or go for um or go for ib we'll still be teachers or go for your own you know there's no difference between matric and cambridge now i probably go for matric you know um, but that's the thing it's high time to switch now you threaten cambridge you actually need to monetary mo- you need to threaten threaten them you know uh, when it comes to monetary monetary things if you will just say oh we will switch and you're not actually causing them monetary harm cambridge is never going to do anything about it i'm sorry cambridge the reason why i'm saying this is because you fail as an institution to give us something tangible in terms of these paper leaks you're just word you, uh, we we're only seeing word play from your end so this is not just the rage that's coming out of me it's it's the rage of all the students i'm speaking on behalf of all the students who have been affected by this and i sympathize with all of you my only question to cambridge right now is how are you accounting for the stress the tension the mental pressure that students went through when they figured out that one of the component was leaked and because of which their exam their next exam uh you know was not went did not go as planned because of that you know lack of focus and that constant pressure and tension that you guys are responsible for so how are you accounting for that give me something tangible give me something that you know give me some 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 assurance that you are accounting for the mental stress and tension <clears throat> and you have to give us proper estimates how you are accounting for that you can't but i hope you do i hope you do something about it i hope you grade the students higher and the deserving students now how do you segregate between that nobody knows because you've already discredited the quote and quote leak question so how are you going <clears> to <throat> give how are you going to figure out which student deserves this extra pump in in their marks because they went through stress and they actually deserve it it's not the cheater that you know gave this exam this is not so simple is it you it's high time you fix your you you fix your um, security you fix the integrity because the integrity of cambridge examination especially in a country like pakistan is now at stake and this i would be the first one to if if all the institutions join hands i'll be the first one to give them this monetary damage which is switch from cambridge to much much better boards like maybe aqa ib ps in excel and what not so cambridge it's high time it's high time kiddo fix yourself 
and students i'm sorry that you guys went through this and are still going through this i'm just going to say you know fingers crossed pray for yourself and hope for the best like all the teachers are going to say and never going to speak about it so i also request all the teachers who aren't the subject teachers even to speak about this and it's our job and our duty to talk and to speak for our students for our future for the future of this country even if masla ye hai na ki the only teachers who are talking about is uh, are the the teach the subject experts because the other teachers are like oh it's not our place to talk why not you guys literally have taken so much money from students institutions aren't talking about it many institutions some may have talked about it but because they have their their benefit has now been satisfied which is to juice all the students to milk all the students of their money to rip parents of their money they've all done that nobody's now talking so i request all subject teachers to come together talk about this issue and force cambridge into fixing their uh, infrastructure with regard to security and integrity if not it's high time to switch best of luck students i can't say anything more about this i just hope you guys get the grade that you deserve and are not put at a disadvantage that's it guys and i hope this reaches cambridge <laughs> okay guys bye bye ciao